All right, so Way of Wade has already updated the Way of Wade 11. The Way of Wade 11 is, is already a, a relatively new shoe on the market as it is, but they've done quite the overhaul to the uppers of them, and it is going to make a bigger deal for some people versus others. Um, so I did want to make a quick video just kind of letting you know what the changes are. Do you need to get the updated uppers? Does it really matter for you? Those kind of things. Let's get into it. All right, so like I said, the change in the, I guess I'm, I'm calling it the Wave Weight 11.1, but it is still just the Wave Weight 11. But for this video's purposes, I'm going to, you know, just to differentiate the two of them. So the 11.1 has a textile woven upper. Now this woven upper, actually a little bit more pliable and malleable, kind of like the ankle collar on the, the Way of Wade 11. Now on the Way of Wade 11, the, the first iteration of it, it was just an entire bed of leather on the top of it. Oh yeah, it's gonna feel nice and buttery and into the touch it's nice. Uh, but if you looked at, at the original breathability test on the Way of Wade 11, they heated up 111.4 degrees, which actually isn't terrible for how much material there is in the forefoot and how there's really no egress there. It's because the tongue has so many pores through it, right? I mean, the air just blows right through that tongue. Now on the 11.1 here, this heated up 109.9 degrees, so really not a lot of difference. And the reason for that is, is because underneath of it, there's still the same backing underneath. There is still a layer of backing. On the 11.1, I noticed that it is a little bit thinner. Um, it kind of corresponds to the uppers, maybe a little bit more malleable, right? But there is still a, a, a backing underneath of it. You look at the breathability test on the original, fog is just getting out of the tongue. That's really the only place it's getting out of. On the 11.1, the update, that's really the same story. Fog is only getting out of the tongue. I thought you were gonna see a lot more egress out of the forefoot. The thing is though, is it does have this backing, right? It does have this paneling over top of it. You look at that on the upper durability test, 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper. That's another big tail of the tape. The, the burr does not get through that versus on the way of weight 11, the original. Um, you, you know, th that leather is going to be a little bit less durable to dragging your sliding. Does it really matter on slick courts? Probably not, um, but you know, you definitely do get a little bit more of a rugged drag guard on the update. So that being said, the thing that makes the actual difference, at least in my opinion, between the 11.1 and the 11, is that the 11.1s are a lot lighter. They are 14.15 ounces for a men's size 11 versus 14.85 ounces on the originals. So you are getting some weight reduction in the uppers with a little bit of the, you know, to me, it's the same containment. They also just feel a little bit more flexible underfoot. They both feel pretty buttery, pretty smooth in the uppers, right? They're both pretty comfortable uppers, but these ones just feel like they're bending underfoot a little bit easier, a little bit more flowing, at least in my opinion. Some people might like the leather feeling for sure. I mean, that, 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 that's gonna be a personal preference. But with that weight reduction, that also ups the speed ratio. So the speed ratio on the updated model is 3.66 versus 3.5 um, on the original, which they're both pretty high speed ratios. They're both very speedy shoes. What I noticed is, is yeah, the updated version or the quote unquote 11.1 as I'm calling it, it just feels a little bit lighter on foot, a little bit more malleable, a little bit more flexible. But another really big difference actually comes in fit for very specific people. Because these uppers, like I said, do this flow a little bit easier, that they break in a little bit easier, even though, like I said, these do not take a while to break in. It's just more substantial. These are going to fit hammer toes better, they're gonna fit bunions better, right? Because they just expand a little bit easier, right? While retaining the same containment. Everything else in the shoes are the same, the outsole tread, the midsole, exactly the same. Now that I've actually had a little bit more time to play in the 11s, I will say, even though the outsole tread does pick up dust, especially on this indoor court, this is the first time I've actually gotten to play with them on this court as well and compare them to the very, very clean community center court. And even though they do pick up dust, the, the traction has been very consistent. If you check out the comment section of the original video, I'm sure as well as these ones, you're gonna see other people's experiences uh, with that. And th there, it, there is some, uh, some diversity of experience, which I thought was very, very interesting. To me, I noticed that even with a little bit of the, the dust pickup, I, I really had pretty consistent traction now that I've actually gotten to play a little bit more in these. And when I had them on side by side, like I said, yeah, I just noticed a little bit, lighter on the new ones, just a little bit more malleable, a little more flexible. Um, so is the change enormous? No, is it gonna make a difference for certain people, people that want a weight reduction, as well as people that, like I said, have those hammer toes, bunions, lumps, bumps, bruises, maybe arthritis in, in their forefoot, things like that. Just people that need a little bit more accommodation for orthotics, the 11.1 quote unquote is gonna be better in my opinion, because it's just gonna expand more as well. So. Like I said, very small tweaks, and for certain people, it's gonna make a big difference. 
other people. I think basically whatever colorway you like or whichever one's, you know, whichever one kind of gels with you, that's going to be just fine. There's going to be enough people that would rather have um, the, the leather upper for sure, you know, just because people like that material. So let me hear your thoughts in the comments down below, especially, you know, are you going with either one of these? Was the update really a catalyst for you to buy them? Do you really, you know, do you care about the update one versus the other? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below because I do think that there is going to be a dividing line there. So uh, let me comment down below about that. And if you do want to see what I'm talking about with the original Way of Weight 11 and go through all the tests of the Way of Weight 11 and, you know, see all the stats and everything there, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. I'll see you somewhere in the Snakeiverse.